pretty easy. Not so much an unboxing, this is more like an unbagging. Have you ever looked up at the sky and seen the full moon? Well, you can actually track that with a watch. Let's talk about it. So this isn't news to anyone. A moon phase complication on a watch is actually one of the oldest complications you can get on a watch. So it's no surprise you can track the moon on your phone, but how cool is it to be able to have one of the oldest complications of clock of a watch on your wrist. And I'm talking about the moon phase complication. The moon phase complication actually was invented in the 16th century. And for those of you who don't know, the moon phase is actually 29 days, unlike our calendar uh, that's based on the solar year, 30 days or 31 days with the leap year. A lunar calendar is very consistent with the moon. So it's always rounded to 30, but the true moon a phase a cycle is 29 days. And so the reason I'm excited to share this with you is because if you are a watch enthusiast or a lover of watches, or it's just interesting to be able to have the moon phase on your wrist in a very traditional way, um, it's actually a, a work of art, it's a masterpiece. And so one of the very difficult things to uh, to, to notice in the watch world is that to get a good moon phase that displays the moon uh, fairly large on your dial, you know, so that it's prominent and you know what you're looking at is very hard these days for some reason. Um, and when you do find one, we're talking thousands of dollars. And that's because this complication is very fancy. It's very luxurious. It's one of those beautiful aesthetics of having the moon on a dial, you know, and there's tons of examples, but again, there, there's very few in the budget range that I would say I'd be ready to jump at. So Sakani is a fairly recent brand. They started in August, 2018, uh, kind of like a Kickstarter brand. And so this brand is focused and has created their products around the moon phase. And like I said, finding a good moon phase with a prominent moon on it, uh, aside from it being a work of art, is very difficult to find uh, at a budget accessible price. And what I really liked about Seconi when I found the brand is that they're making their watches uh, with Swiss movement, sapphire crystal, stainless steel, all these good points that you expect from a good watch with a prominent moon phase at a very affordable price. I want to thank Seconi for sending me their title moon phase watch and I'm excited to open it right in front of you. This is actually my first unboxing. I've never done one before. So I'm using my trusty scissors. I believe uh, I just got it today, which is cool. Um, I'm just going to get into it. I don't think there's anything to damage by stabbing it. <laughs> That's pretty easy. Not so much an unboxing. This is more like an unbagging. Maybe it's a first. I'm going to start new unbag unbaggings. So I believe they sent me their um, classic, which is their number one right now. And this is um, the moon phase with a white dial in rose gold case on leather. Uh, you can get it on the mesh steel. So I'm going to see what they sent me and see the first thoughts. So packaging, very simple, very light. The box is actually squishy, which feels pretty nice. They have their, their logo. I don't know if you can see it there. Their logo is right there. Nice uh, silver print. It opens up very nice. So right away, <laughs> um, I'm pretty impressed just by the looks of it right now. So it's nice. I'm just going to open it for you. So oh, I think this is great presentation. I'm looking at it like this. Um, I'm thinking they have their brochure on the top, which is really nice. I like the texture of the paper they use. Five year warranty. That's actually impressive. Um, only high end watchmakers that I know of like Rolex or Omega 
um, are offering five years. So that's pretty impressive. I mean, five year warranty. So here we've got a little bit of information on their history. You know, their goal is to balance high quality at the same time with a dress watch, but still make it modern and appealing. You know, uh, a moon phase when you're not familiar with it, it may sound like an old man's watch, but I think their approach is very good at the price point that they're offering. And I'll reveal that in a bit. Um, I think it's a good selling point and a good option for those uh, like me who are younger, who want to, you know, kind of get into that tradition, that moon phase look and still very modern look. It's not old fashioned. Something really nice that we're going to notice here on this white dial, which I haven't seen in person yet, but I'm reading is the guilloche finishing. And I'm excited about that because brands like Cartier or, um, uh, you know, all those dress brands like Raymond wheel, they're using that texture on the dial gives it a three dimensional look. So let's do some specs before we look at it and I'll take some product shots and put them on the screen while I talk so you can actually see what I'm talking about here. So we've got a 39 millimeter case size, uh, a Ronda Swiss movement, it's quartz, um, an Italian full grain leather strap and sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating. All very standard for a high quality watchmaker. So I'm very happy that it has these specifications. I think, um, some of you obviously would prefer an automatic or mechanical, but I think for a moon phase, um, keeping in mind that you want it very precise um, and keeping it at an accessible price, quartz is probably the best option for a moon phase at this price point because you're gonna get consistency, you're gonna get, um, you're not gonna be losing 20 seconds or 30 seconds a day, um, you know, which will potentially mess how accurate your moon phase is gonna be. I mean, there's other options from like rim and wheel and, and whatnot, but we're talking three to four times the price. So I think quartz is fair and it's very reliable when you wanna track with a moon phase. So I've never actually set a moon phase, so I'm glad to see that they included this instruction brochure along with their history. And it actually tells you how to do it. And this is going to be a learning curve. I've always wanted a moon phase, but I've never actually had one or set a moon phase. So I'm going to have to read this and we'll have to talk about that on the long term uh, review. All right. So this is what I was saying. Um, there's the box presentation silver wording you open it up you've got your brochure and your instructions up here um, like i said five-year warranty specifications moon phase information instructions on how instructions on how to set the moon phase that's i'm gonna have fun with this one all right so here we've got presentation screw it says we've got the Founders Edition. So I'll pull out first the accessories we've got here. They've provided a, a mesh bracelet, which I, I'm a big fan of. I think it's very cool and it's smooth. You'll see a lot of these on Movado's, um, but a lot of other brands are using these now. I think they're, come, they're getting a comeback. You don't see them everywhere, but when you do see them, you can't help to you know, this texture gets your attention and it's very smooth on this. It's very smooth on the skin. So no concerns there on how comfortable this is going to be. I've just never had a rose gold uh, toned one and I really like it. It's kind of like copper, but it still has that shine. So exciting to try that out. Put that right there. Next up, we've got a leather strap. So let's unwrap this before we get to the main feature. Okay. So keep in mind, this is a white dial. And I mean, my favorite watches right now are white dials because everything goes with them. You can use anything, any color strap. So this isn't brown. It's gonna be a more dressy option. 
and you see they, they matched the case with this um, deployment clasp, which is nice that they included deployment. They could have gone for a more simple, uh, straightforward buckle, but I'm glad that they went with the deployment because it just adds more class to it. So there's their brand name, Founders Edition, steel, same matching tone. I really like this. I'm glad they, it adds more value. If you're familiar with clasps, when you buy a clasp with a strap, you always end up paying so much more. So it's neat that they're not only providing the watch as an option, but they're providing straps. This one's a bit more generic, but what do you expect from a Milanese mesh? You know, it's, it's straightforward. But on the, and from the first feel of this leather, um, I have tons of leather straps and I have reviewed uh, Wear Hadley straps, which they sent me as well. And these are on par and they have the quick release. Always a win to have quick release. I, everyone should be transitioning to this. And we've got their branding. So it's not just generic, it's personalized. We've got the Italian full grain and it does feel very soft. And you've got this cushion. This is what I would expect from a high-end leather manufacturer. So I'm happy uh, that they're not providing, you know, for a more accessible watch, you know, very cheap leather. This is actually good quality. All right, main feature now, the watch. And I think this color just brings it to a different level. So let me just show you that really quick. Oh, I think I got all mixed up here. <laughs> they pinned it on there pretty well, or I just suck at doing this. So again, matching rose gold tone. This blue color, oh my God. This looks amazing. Can you see that? This blue leather is perfect and it's the same quality, same branding as the brown one I was looking at right now. This cushion feels really good. I am really impressed. This is the first time I hold this watch. I think this pairing makes it very luxurious, um, punching way above its, its price point. Yeah, you can get a good view of it there. This blue, I'm telling you, I'm, I love leather straps. This blue just hits the mark for me. And if you notice, you can see the, oh, let me take this plastic off so you, there's less, a little bit less glare. Uh, the blue matches that blue sky uh, with the moon on it very well. I think the blue complements it very well. But I could see it also on the brown being a lot more classy, a little more dressy. Whereas this is more outgoing, still dressy, but I think, um, I mean, it goes with all the styles. That's, that's what I like about the white dials. You can kind of envision this. Definitely, you can customize the look you want with the strap you put on it. But this looks amazing. The watch thickness is great. I love that they put their moon, their tidal wave, which is what they named their their model after, tidal moon phase, which is when the when there's a full moon and it's closer to orbit, uh, closer to the earth, it makes some bigger waves. Mm show you that that looks so cool this is great and there's glass above this so this is sealed with the glass very classy good conversation starter I forgot to mention this brand uh, designed in Singapore Swiss movement like it says on the case 316 steel this leather also has the quick release. This is just great. 
All right, well, this is my first impressions. I'm going to learn to set the moon phase and test it out with different straps as well. Probably talk about more like the applied indices and the hour markers, which is great. Um, the hour markers, very unique as well. The date window is proportionate. I think I prefer it at the six than at the three. It looks a lot better. Everything looks symmetrical, so I think they did a very good job in, in the placement of everything. So we'll have to talk and stay tuned for another video where I'll go in depth on this. But first impressions, this is great. We'll, we'll end with a wrist shot. a little loose but I'll adjust it later excellent quality I am very impressed with this well I hope you enjoyed this video I'll be making another one soon and we'll go more in depth a uh, long-term use but in the meantime enjoy those pictures of the samples and what I've got so far thank you for watching <laughs>